Starbucks just had its earnings report and this stock is exploding again 10%. And it's quite amazing when you think about it. If you really are uh, looking at the company itself, they are selling drinks. And if uh, right now they're hitting their earnings. And when you look at their earnings, what are they selling? They're selling drinks. So as those drink prices became more pricier, people are actually buying it. And I think back to the uh, Lego movie when we look at um, you know, Starbucks, it's like, hey, that's $37 for that cup of uh, coffee. Awesome. Everything is awesome, right? So when you start looking at uh, Starbucks and just uh, the earnings report, it's top estimates. And um, when you start looking at um, just overall uh, the progress that they made, it's it's quite amazing to see how consumers really are uh, buying more and more expensive drinks. So uh, nevertheless, the company's same store sales uh, rose 8% fueling higher than average checks and 3% increase in consumer traffic to cafes. Now that's kind of to be expected when you're you know, past the pandemic, you're starting to pick up some traffic and um, those kinds of things. But what I really am fascinated by is that the reaction, the reaction that the market is doing, because it comes down to how the market itself and how are people reacting to this news? Not so much. Yeah, the company beat earnings. And even if they blew it out of the water and did a fantastic and amazing but remember, you're valuing here, um, it, it's kind of like a McDonald's to me, but you're selling drinks with a more of a limited menu, but people are still spending money and the stock is skyrocketing. Now, one thing that I could say why it might be skyrocketing is we had a pullback uh, recently and with that pullback, that's kind of to be expected that you might get a pop. So we are actually only pulling back to, um, let's say, uh, three months back to where it was. So if, technically speaking, if you're looking at the stock and just where it's kind of been, um, just we've been in a downward trend. And right now, as this downward trend is phasing out, maybe um, it could push further to the upside. Now, I think up 10% for a stock, I usually don't like to chase stocks that are up uh, that high or that fast up 10%. But nevertheless, I mean, it is breaking uh, this downward trend, you're kind of uh, pushing here to higher prices. So that's definitely really nice uh, volumes coming in. But I would say, you know, um, when you're going into these these companies, be careful and don't chase them. Now, 90 was this support zone. You can see you've also got uh, here these zones and areas. So that's also a critical area. This was back in 2022 even, um, uh, the resistance in the past. So this stock, in theory, been, has been between 90 and 110. I mean, it's really just kind of been going sideways between those levels and zones. It hasn't really grew a lot, uh, but um, nevertheless, um, overall, this, this stock's performing well today. So good job to uh to starbucks and um, the way it's acting and behaving so here it is up nine dollars and 53 cents i don't have a lot of other related tickers to it right this moment uh but um but the stock is doing quite well you've also got wayfair also pushing uh, nicely shopify roku a lot of companies have reported earnings just the other day so when you look at starbucks it's also one that kind of follows with it and when the market is is pushing pushing to the upside, uh, you're also getting a kick and surge from the market itself. So nevertheless, stock's doing well. I mean, congrats to the bulls on this one. I didn't trade it. It wasn't one that I was in. I was actually in Shopify and uh, that one's also doing, still holding up okay. Uh, but yeah, it's doing well. Fantastic. Truly appreciate you guys sticking with me. Check out the technical analysis course if you're interested in it. Uh, other than that, enjoy the day and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.